The double flow pump is an inflow outflow pump designed to enhance simplicity, responsiveness, and connectedness. The pump interface is designed to be intuitive and respond quickly to surgeon needs in diverse clinical situations. Further, it is part of Smith & Nephew's Intellio Connected Tower, a portfolio of connected products to streamline and optimize arthroscopic needs. This video will guide you through the setup and operation of the double flow pump, tube sets, and accessories. Place the pump on the tower at the operative joint level. Connect the power supply to an electrical socket. Press the power button. The LCD screen illuminates and displays MMHG 4 millimeters of mercury. The pump must be powered on before setting up tubing. Do not press the start stop button before installing the tube sets. Make sure that the saline solution bags are not within reach of electromedical devices before installing the tubing. Replace empty saline bags before setting up tubing. Make sure all locks are tight during all tubing connections. Pertaining to any of the assortment of tube sets offered, the following steps should be performed by the circulating nurse. Open the outer package by using the tab. Remove the tube set from the inner package. Close the two clamps on the tubing. Remove the caps from the spikes. Connect the spikes to the saline bags. The day tube set is used for single day use and delivers saline from the saline bags to the joint via the patient tube set. The following steps apply to the installment of the day tube set. Insert the blue connector into the bracket with the blue indicator of the irrigation side. Place and center the tube around the irrigation pump head. Pull the tube tight through the left opening of the black bracket for the irrigation side and insert the white connector by inserting it into the black bracket and the irrigation side. The patient tube set is single use and is intended for use with the day tube set. The following steps apply to the installment of the patient tube set. Connect the lower lock on the patient tube set to the lower lock on the day tube set. In lieu of the day tube set and patient tube set arrangement, an inflow tube set would be used. The inflow tube set is for single use. Insert the blue connector into the bracket with the blue indicator of the irrigation side while maintaining the blue connector vertically throughout insertion. Place and center the tube around the irrigation pump head. Pull the tube tight through the left opening of the black bracket for the irrigation side and insert the white connector by inserting it into the black bracket of the irrigation side. To install the outflow tube set, ensure that the pump is in stop mode. Insert the waste end into the waste collection system. Insert the orange connector into the bracket with the orange indicator of the suction side. Place and center the tube around the suction pump head, pulling the tube tight through the right opening of the black connector for the suction side, inserting the white connector into the black bracket of the suction side. Insert the outflow cannula tube into the right side of the pinch valve. Insert the shaver tube into the left side of the pinch valve. Insert the outflow cannula tube into the cannula. Insert the shaver tube into the outlet on the shaver handpiece. Once tube sets are installed, connect the red lower lock of the tube set to the arthroscopy sheath cannula and open the stopcock. Confirm that the clamp on the distal end of the tube set is open. Open one of the clamps on the proximal end of the tube set connected to the saline bags. To purge the air from the tube set, Press the start-stop button on the pump to begin pumping saline through the tubing. Once all air is purged from the tubing, clamp off the tubing or close the stopcock. Press the start-stop button on the pump to enter standby mode. Press the start-stop button again when ready to begin surgery. Double Flow's foot switch is designed to be used with competitive shavers. Where there is a Dionics 2 shaver, the D2 shaver foot switch would be used. Connect the foot switch cable to the pedal port on the front of the pump. To set up the wireless foot switch, connect the dongle to the pedal port on the front of the pump. When using the double flow pump with the D2 shaver handpiece, connect the HCI cable 25 pin connector to the 25 pin receptacle on the back of the pump. Connect the HCI cable to the back of the shaver console. The double flow pump offers compatibility with competitive shavers via the hand control interface. Before plugging or unplugging the HCI, turn off the pump 
and shaver consoles. Connect the HCI cable 25-pin connector to the 25-pin receptacle on the back of the pump. Connect the shaver handpiece to the circular receptacle on the HCI. Connect the HCI cable to the shaver console. To connect the double flow pump to the Intelio connected tower, the link is used. First connect the link device to the double flow pump with the DB9 cable. Then connect the link device to the power supply. The double flow pump is simple, effective, and connected. It is designed to minimize setup errors and mid-procedure adjustments so busy surgeons and staff can focus on the patient, not the equipment.